Nigerians are calling for more funding and provision of digital equipment to fast-track learning in public schools in the country as the country celebrates the Day of the African Child. A non-government organization project, Hope Alive, donated learning materials to Mother Primary School at Sokoro in the federal capital territory, Abuja. As Nigeria joins the rest of Africa to celebrate Day of the African Child, stakeholders are calling on the federal government to adequately fund and equip public schools in the country with modern learning equipment, including computers. They blame the government for the drop in the standard of education in public schools due to neglect, which have forced privileged Nigerians to abandon public schools for private ones. Public primary schools are in a dilapidated uh, condition and the learning condition has also been challenging. So uh, also, in the, like the team of this year uh, uh, suggests, the right of the child in a digital environment. Coupled with all the natural issues the children are facing, we are also being faced with the issue of digital poverty. If you look at the, the, the African children and the schools, a lot of them are not digital compliant. So as the world is moving even to the AI era, Nigeria is even yet to cope with traditional technology system to support education. So we are using the Day of the African Child to highlight these issues and acknowledge the fact that the right of the child is a fundamental right that every stakeholder must work hard to support and promote. We want all the uh, wives of governors and the wife of the president to adopt child-friendly pet projects under this new dispensation because we believe we don't have the institutional framework that promotes, that specifically rather focuses on promoting and protecting children. We also want a situation where we're able to balance the risk of technology and the advantage of technology for children. The Director General of the Nigerian Institute of Legislative and Democratic Studies, Professor Sulaiman Abubakar, who was represented by Director of Training Rukayat Atta, assured that the Institute will continue to support worthy educational projects that will impact positively on the growth and development of the country. The event featured cultural dances from six geopolitical regions of the country and debate amongst the populace on the advantages in digital education for the country. Donations of digital education equipment as learning materials, which includes exercise books, pencils, pens, and toiletries, were donated to the school. The theme of this year's event is Rights of the Child in the Digital Environment. Domiciling a primary school in the hand of local government is not an ideal thing. And even when federal government is collaborating using UBEC, you know, to collaborate with the state, you know, also outfit has also not helped matter. You know, I think the federal government should take, you know, uh, control in terms of highly funding it, you know, specifically, you know, without channeling money to any agencies that uh, will take part of those money to do issues of uh, administrative purposes. Our uh, primary schools are in, in bad shape. Uh, even the school that we are doing this program today, most of the classroom have no chairs. So it tells you a lot of things uh, that uh, if a, a child cannot see them properly in an environment and you are talking about digital you know, uh, space, uh, that means we have a very long way to come. And these children must be able to meet up uh, compared to those of them in primary schools. Uh, our children are in primary schools and that's not fair to them. Whatever opportunity he has you know, to um, educate the children or to ensure that we completely eradicate this uh, uh, you know, gap in education for the Nigerian child, he would do it. And I think it's about, it's not necessarily about institutions, but about the vision of the person behind the institution. Uh, so I think that every child sat here feels like today is a big day, you know, and they will never forget it. It, it will go down in history, they will never, it, you can't erase it, you know, from their memories, because I can't erase the ones I had when I was a child in my memories, so I think it's a wonderful, wonderful day. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.